Hi, Dr. Goldberg here uh, on our infectious disease series. Uh, bullet points today, we're going to talk about the, the pneumococcal vaccine. Uh, certainly, we've been given the pneumococcal vaccine for dec you know, decades. Um, uh, we've had the pneumovax out for years, the polysaccharide vaccine, the 23-valent vaccine for pneumococcus. Um, up until now, we haven't had anything new. Uh, now we've got Prevnar 13. We'll talk about that briefly. So the Pneumovax, we like to give a dose at age 65 and no boosters thereafter because the vaccine is more effective in younger people. For adults between the ages of 19 and 64, these uh, adults that are high risk should get the Pneumovax. Um, we're talking about people with heart disease, lung disease, such as asthma, COPD, people with HIV infection, liver disease, um, kidney disease, nephrotic syndrome, as well as now even smokers. It's recommended uh, from the 2010 uh, consensus. So um, now that we have Prevnar, which is a conjugate vaccine and has very good immunogenicity, uh, that vaccine contains the 6A serotype, uh, which is uh, otherwise the Numex contains all the other 12 that the Prevnar 13 has. Uh, but the Prevnar 7, which has been out for the uh, kids uh, for many years, has been very effective to decreasing invasive pneumococcal disease. So uh, we're anticipating to see decreased problems with pneumococcal uh, disease over the next uh, many years with the use of both of these vaccines. So up until now, the uh, Prevnar was recommended for adults between the ages of 19 and 64, one dose. And of course, the uh, Pneumovax has been recommended uh, in that population as well, but there should be separation uh, of at least a year uh, between those vaccines. Now recently, the uh, ACIP has recommended uh, Prevnar in 65-year-olds, uh, one dose uh, to be given. So that's a kind of a breakthrough, and we're recommending the there, there'd be a separation of 6 to 12 months for sure between the two vaccines. Prevnar 13 is now recommended to be given first at age 65. Now, mind you, no more boosters after age 65. Uh, get the vaccines quick. Hopefully, we'll see an improvement in our uh, uh, vaccination uh, policies, and we'll get more than you know, 30% of the 65-year-olds vaccinated this year. Now, we know that we're going to see much less invasive uh, pneumococcal disease with the use of these vaccines. So, uh, signing off for now, but I'll update this as needed. Thanks, Dr. Goldberg.